and welcome back to CCR Community. In honor of today being the first day of spring, Rob Kummer is going to give a golf lesson that you can put into practice in your own backyard. Thank you for joining us today on the uh, first day of spring. Uh, I wanted to give a little bit uh, of a golf lesson here, a couple tips. You can do them right from your house, so that way if you're stuck inside, you can still work on your golf game. So, first one we're gonna do a uh, putting drill here, and uh, it's gonna help with your four feet putt. Okay. So, here I have two sticks. Uh, all they are are the uh, yard sticks or the um, the plow sticks. I think most people have those around their house since we all live in upstate New York. Uh, and I have it on either side of my Yeti bottle. I like the Yeti bottle because it's about the size of a cup. And then you'll see I have the golf ball here at the end. So I have those sticks um, about the width of the putter. And since this is the runway drill, all you have to do is get in your normal setup, swing your putter in between the sticks, and hit that bottle or hit whatever obstacle you have at the end. Also, the really good thing I like with the bottle, it gives you an auditory feedback. So that way, oh man, you know that you nailed that shot. So all I do is reset this a couple times. And I'll just work on these four foot putts at home. And I love this drill uh, because I can do it on my carpet. And then when I come outside, I've practiced these four foot putts so many times that I know I'm gonna make this putt. I just know it, it's not even a question. So, um, I want you to do it where the carpet is flat. Obviously, we don't wanna have a whole lot of break. And I want you to remember that every putt on the golf course is a straight putt, okay? All right, thanks for joining me for the second tip today. Uh, the other thing I see a lot of is inside takeaways, especially uh, at the start of spring, just because we haven't been doing it a whole lot. So the next setup I have, you're gonna have two golf balls, just separated by about an inch, so you can get your golf club in between them, and then some kind of backstop. I like having my head cover here, and I have these two stitch marks on either side, so it gives me a great visual. If you don't have that, that's fine, but I just like having that there. So what you're gonna notice with this takeaway drill, if I get in my setup and I swing the golf club back, if I swing it inside, you can see that golf ball starts veering off on an angle, okay? Now ideally, with a proper takeaway, we wanna be going straighter back. So the next one you're gonna do is swing it and say, all right, did that golf ball go straight back? That one did, and I'm even in between my two white stitch marks. So I know I executed that drill perfectly. All right, thank you for joining me for the uh, third tip for today. Uh, the last one I want to do is a little bit of power move. So uh, we all want to hit the golf ball further. Uh, so we need to start working on that right away in the spring. So what you're going to do, you're going to take a golf ball, or even if you have a squishy little basketball or something that would work fine too. Um, I recommend doing it inside in the carpet. It'll give you the best feedback. But what you're going to do is take the heel just inside the heel and you're going to put that right on top of the golf ball. Okay? You're going to get in your golf posture and when you swing back I want you to feel like you're pressing that golf ball straight into the ground. So if it's done incorrectly you're not going to feel a whole lot of resistance. You're going to stay on your toes on your right foot, okay? But if you do it well, and you can even give yourself a little bit of a sit, you're going to feel like you're driving that golf ball or that ball straight into the ground. That's a great power move to get you going for the spring, and I'd be happy to touch base with that later on. All right, I wanted to finish off today by letting everybody know uh, since the club is uh, undergoing a little bit of a closure with this virus, I wanted to offer all of our members, uh, men, ladies, juniors, the opportunity to take a video golf lesson with me. So uh, what that's going to entail, uh, you would take the video at home, either on a phone or tablet, um, and then you, all you have to do is email that to me. I have the software uh, that I can edit it, do a voiceover, give you a full-on golf lesson based on what you send me. 
All I need are one or two views of your golf swing. So the first one is what we call the face-on view, which is how you see me right now. And all I need to do is be able to see the entire motion of your swing, okay? The other one, what we call down the line. And Allie has a great view here because the camera's at hand level at my address, and that is exactly where I need that camera. So the second one would be down the line, and you see the swing from that angle, okay? So just make sure that uh, you either give me one of the camera views or preferably both of them. That gives me the best opportunity. But I want everybody to be able to play their golf, best golf this spring. And in lieu of being able to give lessons outside or in the simulator, I want to be able to do it right from your home. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing everybody soon. Thank you, Rob. Remember to continue checking the club's Facebook, Instagram, website, and club emails for more information to come. Click below to subscribe to these videos and we'll see you soon.